What up, guys? With former CrossFit Games champ Rich Froning here. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> just kidding. With Jason, and today he's gonna teach me how to do a bar muscle up. And he's a champ. He's a former champ. And I'm sure he can crush these like crazy. And I know a lot of people always want to learn how to do muscle ups at my gym. Literally, after people do like they're finished with a powerlifting workout, that's like the thing that you have to. It's like to. the 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 goal. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it'd be best if we can show people the correct way to do it so they don't get hurt. Yes. I mean, look, there's there's strict bar muscle ups and there's kipping. Most people, most of the time, are probably not going to be able to do a strict bar muscle up. It's really really difficult to do. Um, what we should focus on first is a kind of like a, a kipping bar muscle up. And so for those people who are kind of anti the kipping pull up, I, I get it, but we're gonna need to teach them how to utilize their shoulder to create momentum, which is gonna then be utilized to get your first bar muscle up. So here's what I mean. Do you think the best place to learn how to do muscle ups is in jail? Uh, Cause I, I notice everyone that comes out of jail is really good at muscle ups. No, I don't know, don't go to jail. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people hate on the kipping pull up. I think there's a ton of value in the gymnastics kipping pull up. So when you look at a gymnastics kipping pull up, right, you're pushing, and pulling on this bar, yeah, and you're using your shoulder to create momentum, yeah, to then get your chin over the bar. That same idea, right, is gonna be incorporated when we get into the bar muscle up. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at that. You're like a pro. So, for the bar muscle up, what we want to think about is this kind of idea that we're pushing on the bar, we're pulling on the bar, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push, we're gonna lean back, pull the bar to our hip, come up and over. So I'll just demonstrate what I'm talking about. So you're here, boom. Wow. Right over the top. Yeah. Now I'm receiving it like where my rib cage is. Yeah. So at this point, I can almost rest if I want to. I can then push out to get the full range of motion. Then what I like to do, some people go off the top and they could just kind of fall backward, which is fine. Yeah. I actually like to return back to this position here because it puts less load on my shoulder when I repeat the rep. So now from here, I push off the bar, load, and I come back up again. Is the goal of the muscle up to get to this position and then almost do a dip? Or is the goal to try to land as up as high as possible? Yeah, that's a good question. So I mean, I think it depends on what you're doing. So let's just say you're doing a workout and it's a lot of reps. Maybe in the beginning, you might start off with this big kip, really use those hips and land tall because you wanna maybe burn out your hip power and not so much your arm and pressing out. Or maybe for that workout, you're maybe incorporating, maybe it's only a few reps and you wanna save your hip power or whatever, and so you're gonna land low and then use your arms to help you out. It's kind of dependent on what you're trying to accomplish for that day, and if you know the gymnastics glide kip versus the kip. So what I was just doing is like a kipping bar muscle up. This is a glide, glide, glide kip. kip. This is a little bit different, and for me, I've only been able to do it when I'm on like singles. So let's just say I'm really tired, I might revert to this one, yeah. but I haven't been able to really connect these as well as like a real gymnast can. So from here, you're almost gonna jump into the bar looking this way, yeah. and your goal is to really pull the bar to your hip and keeping your arms long. Whereas for me, I bent my arms a little bit. On yeah. this next one, I'm gonna try not to. So you're gonna be here, boom. Whoop. So right? you almost like pop your knees and your your hips as high as you can because I saw that your quads touched. Yeah. So you use that momentum to then drive you over. Yeah, it's almost like a, a imagine like it's a pull up and a and a V up and a toe to bar all built into one. And I think for a lot of people when they think about a bar muscle up, they think about pulling up. Yeah. It's actually more of like a lean back. And so if you try and go from here, and you try and just like pull up here. Yeah. It's very difficult because your line of action is challenging to get up and over the bar. I see. But when you pull back, it transfers the way your body is and you're yeah. now gonna kinda almost do a sit up. Like a pendulum almost. Yeah. So where we're gonna start with with you yeah. is the first question is, hey, Bart or whoever, can you do a pull up? And you're gonna say, yes, Jason, I can do a pull up. I can do a strict pull up where I get my chin over the bar. I have that prerequisite strength. One of the things I've learned the hard way is when you're just trying to use kip a lot, you might develop the hip power and the technique, but you might not, uh, you might not have as much of the prerequisite strength. So focus on your, your strict pull-up first. Make sure you have that. How many pull-ups do you think you need to have to be able to do a, a muscle-up? Well, it's not just the pull-up. It's also going to be a dip too, right? Mm. So let's just say you want to be able to do um, either ring dips yeah. or regular dips. I don't know, maybe three to five strict pull-ups and three to five dips. But at full range of motion, especially if you want to get on the rings, 
One of the area on the rings that people struggle with is if you catch low on the rings, but you've never worked that low of a position on a dip, yeah. it could be challenging. I see. So the same thing on a bar. You need to be able to press yourself out from this position and not just right here. You need to be able to work the full range of motion. Gotcha. So you're on the bar, you're feeling good. The first step we're gonna do is you have your pull-ups, you have your dips. The next thing we're gonna talk about is just this kip swing. And when we think about the kip swing, the best way to think about it is that it's not leg generated, it's shoulder generated. When it's leg generated, it looks like this. So if I use my legs to generate momentum, I'm out of control right now. So if you ask me to stop, I can't stop, right? Yeah. But if I use my shoulder to generate momentum, if you ask me to stop, I'm in full control at all times. So I'm pushing and pulling on the bar. It's a shoulder generated exercise and not a leg generated exercise. So let's just start there. If you want to just jump up on the bar, and all I want you to do, right, is hit my hands with your stomach and your low back. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, and just relax, perfect, okay? So once you have that, and it doesn't require a little bit of shoulder flexibility. If, you're, if your shoulders are tight, you might wanna go a little bit wider grip on the bar, it might help, but that's the first step. Hey, can you control that position? The next step is gonna be, okay, can I now pull the bar towards my hip? And a good way to initially uh, develop that is either with a knees to elbow or a toe to bar. So let me show you the next step. So you're on the bar, and what we want to do next is you're here, right? And you say, hey, can we do this? Can we do this? Mm. And then can we do this? Can we do this? Lean back and drive my feet towards the bar. So I'm yeah. leaning back, I'm actively engaging the lat, driving down, and my feet come up as a byproduct. I almost noticed you have like a second of weightlessness. Yeah, especially right there. So you want to be careful, hold on to the bar. So be nice and easy, there you go. See, now get your rhythm down. So push, pull, boom, yeah. So that head comes through the window? Yeah. Good, right? So the head's coming through the window, you're using your lat to drive down. That's the key, right? Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Once you feel good there, and you understand this idea of forward and backward, now what I wanna do is I wanna bring your belt buckle to the bar. Okay. Okay, so this is really important that people have the prerequisite strength and grip strength also to hold on to the bar. So you're on the bar, either regular grip, or this grip, whatever you prefer, right? From this position, I'm gonna go. Which one's manly, or you think? I think they're both manly. Okay. I'm gonna go one, two, go. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. So I'm gonna go, so I'm on the bar, it's, it's here, it's one, two, go. Oh. Right? Yeah. And I could jump into it if I want to. So it's here, here, here. And I'm almost levitating myself. So it's one, Two, I load my position. This is a loading position. And then I drive the bar to my hip. Yeah. So slow it down, try and just bring your hip up so a little I go bit. One, two, and then I launch yep. it. Okay. And I pull down the bar. Okay. So it's one, two, okay. pull the bar down. One, two. Oh. There you go, just relax. Okay. Try again. So it's nice and easy. One. Yeah, so there you go. So think, ready? Just yeah. move with me. Okay. Ready, and go. Yes, there you go, I see. good. So you see that timing, right? Yeah. So you load, so this is the position. It's here, you're like getting ready. This is loading my hip. From this load position, my shoulder and my hip, I then drive down on the bar, which then creates this momentum. Yeah. So it's one, two, go. I see. Right? Yeah. And we're just gonna try it again. What you're gonna think about is just pulling the bar down into your hip. That's it. And stay in control of your body. One, two. Yes, there you go. There you go. You feel sometimes you're a little bit off balance, right? Yeah. Yeah, try again. So, one, two, right there. Yes, there it is, good. I see. Now, on this next one, see if you can do that same thing. You were doing a great job, but see if you can jump into it this time. And this, there's some light that's on this one, so we might need to change bars. But if you want, you're here. You're gonna jump into it from right here. One, two, go. Do it one more time. So you're just gonna jump into it here. Oh, okay. Just jump into it. Nice and easy, so nice and easy. Just jump into it, yeah. It's nice and easy. I think the timing is the... That's the timing, yeah. that's the hard part. Yes. That's it right. Yeah, try again. Yeah, but bring that hip all the way to the bar. Okay. From right there. Jump forward into it, your momentum's then gonna shift, and as you come back, pull that bar, hip to your bar. Yeah. There you go, the timing's off a little bit, so let's try again, ready? Just, just start from right here. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a better slide. 
So it's one, two. Yes, there you go. Good. Now try and get a little bit bigger with it. Okay. Try and bring your hip all the way up, right? And try it from here. So it's right here. Okay. You can get it like, like that. That's it. Damn. Nice and easy. Just get your timing down. Okay. Right there. Yeah, you had it. You, <laughs> you felt that, right? Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So jump into it, and then you start your rhythm. Yes, that was it. Oh, that was it. You felt it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you feel how your body yeah. starts to, yeah. It's okay. Weird. So try it one more time. Okay. Feel that position. Pull down on the bar like you're doing a lap pull down machine. Okay. Yeah, there it is. That was oh, it. Okay. Yep. That I don't was know if it. I'm getting as high as you are, but. Now what you want to do, right, is you're going to take that position and you're not going to sit over it. So let's go ahead and come on over here. So you're doing a pretty damn good job bringing your hip up to the bar. But now what we need to do is get over the top, okay? So what you can do is you can find a bar that's appropriate for you. So this might be a little bit, um, a little bit too high, but we'll see. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna work this position. So you're here, this is exactly where you were at, mm, right? Yeah. Now what you're gonna do is jump up and get on top of this bar. So you're here, one, two, and I sit up. See how I'm sitting up? So watch it again, I'm here, I'm through, I load my shoulder, I explode, I pull the bar to my hip, and I sit up. Yep, so it's here, here, boom. Right? So let's first start off. This can be pretty easy. Let's first start off right here. So go ahead and just stand there. And then just go ahead and bend your knees and go underneath the bar. Good, and that, what that's teaching you is that your shoulder is opening in this position, right? Yeah. Now from there, just go ahead and kind of just stand up for a second. Yeah, there you go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this bar to right here on your hip. Okay. And you're gonna sit up. So go through, find your flow. Yes, there you go. Now do it again, but then pull it, literally pull it in your hip, like a V up. We could just shoot the video, just, just don't show my feet, and then pretty much I'm really good at it. And then you're pretty much an expert. Yeah. So in, yeah, oh, there you shit, go. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, but think less about trying to lock your arms right now, and yeah. th think more about getting over to this position here. So imagine like you're here, you're like saying, I'm gonna get my first muscle up, and then you're, you're kinda uh, hinging over and saying, thank you for getting my first muscle up. Yes! Yeah, do it again. But you see this position here? Yeah. I want you to land literally, like in this particular case, I don't want you to be extreme and land so high. Land right here, like you're gonna land when you actually try your first muscle up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, now try, one, let me show you one more time. So you're here, you're doing an excellent job, right? But instead of landing here, right? Which is unrealistic for your first time, probably, for most people. I'm pretty strong though. I know you're pretty strong. <laughs> instead, try here. So you're here and you're just gonna get by with trying to get your head here, okay. that's it. Okay. And then, literally. Okay. Because that's gonna be more realistic for most people most of the time. Got it. So come through and just land. Now slow, uh, come down a little bit. Come down, right there. You feel that position? All right here? That's okay. it. Okay, like almost, almost at the top of my rib cage. Yeah, right uh, uh, yeah. Got it. The butt, well yeah, like right, right underneath your rib cage. Got it. Yeah, okay. so try it again. So that's your landing position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try again. So right, so head through, boom, jump up, land low. Yeah, 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 right there. Now press out. Now come back to that position. Yeah, now from here, what I want you to do is I want you to press off and keep your feet out in front of you. So press off the bar towards me. Yes! Oh. That was it. What, what was that? But that's <laughs> how you do your second one. I see. So I'm trying to teach you these fundamentals now. What happens is, to get your first bar muscle up is yeah. one, Two, right? This yeah. is loading. Yeah. This is where you go. But when I get up to the top, what happens to most people is they're here and they go straight down. Now, when you go straight down, you need to recreate this pendulum swing. Oh. I want you to recreate it by pushing off the bar yeah. and keeping your feet out here. And guess what that does? It reloads you for your next one. Oh, because you're already in this position. Yeah. Oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we're trying to recreate that without much like, you know, stress right here. Yeah. So let's try one more time and what I want you to try and think about. My arms are pumped, by the way. Hey man, you know, just trying to get you uh, jacked here. Thank so you. we'll go a little bit lower, yep. okay? And all we're gonna focus on is here, here, press out, 
back down. Now, as I'm here, my feet stay here. I'm gonna push up, and then I'm back in this position. It's a little bit awkward without, uh, but what you're gonna focus on is pushing off and just put, put your feet wherever they end up. Come on. Okay. So come through, drive up, land low. Yep, now press out. Now come back to that position. Now from here, just press off and then just put your feet on the ground. Yes. Dude, you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, right? Yeah, yeah. So shake it out, and then we'll go back over to the bar. Do you need some chalk? Gives uh, you 10% extra strength. Does it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I'll do whatever the pro says. Okay. So here's what we're gonna try, okay? We're gonna jump into it. We're gonna get our nice swing going. You're gonna, get, you're gonna try and attempt to go lean back, pull yeah. the bar to your hip, and then at this point, what are you gonna do? You're gonna sit up. And you're gonna receive here. And then once you receive it here, the goal is to press out, come back down to this position so that what happens is if you go off the bar from here, yeah. it puts a little bit more extreme pressure on your shoulder. It's not Got wrong, it. it's not right. Yeah. It's just for me, yeah. I like to come back to this position and then push off and get into my next swing. Okay. So let's give it a shot, okay? So here's all we gonna try. Here, boom, boom, up, one, back down. Now I'm here, my feet go out in front of me. Wow. Oh, it's a quick movement down there. Yeah. The minute you press off and it comes down, immediately, like, jet, like uh, recreate the momentum. 100%. So get right here, jump into it, and attempt your first, the first bar muscle up. Okay. Jump into it. One, two, pow. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now press out. Now come back down to that position. Now nice and easy, when you push off, you're gonna keep your feet out in front of you. Yeah. Yep, nice and easy. Oh, I see. And you could feel it almost wanting to do it again. Yep. I see, okay. You feel that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So your swing was a little off on the way down, that's okay, but yeah. you felt what I was talking about. Yeah. So the key there, right, is that what gets the, the, the kip is this push, pull, yeah. push, pull. What you don't wanna have to do is just come down and then recreate the whole push, pull. And so you can recreate it by actually off the top, falling into the same position you're looking for. Okay. I'll try to do two of them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt good though, dude. It looked good. It did it? Yeah. Because when you're doing it, like your toes are all pointed, it looks like all perfect. Oh, I feel like come everything's on. like wobbling. Come on, like. man. No, you look good. All right. Do I have to start with one of these guys? Uh, yeah. Okay. You got to finish with one of those. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice and easy. Okay. Press out. Yep. Oh, that was it. Okay, 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 okay. I did it, I did, I don't think I, I think I cut my momentum short on the But once down. you, now that you feel, felt it, yeah. you're, you're, it's a done deal. I see. So again, when you're at the top, boom, you're here. When you're here, okay, yeah. I'm in this position. Yeah. What I'm thinking about is I'm gonna be, okay, I could fucking chill, I can do whatever. Yeah. But I'm gonna push off towards the wall behind me and my feet are gonna go out in front of me, here. Oh. So right. I don't need to be all dramatic about it. Yeah, so you almost kept your, yeah. like you almost kept the weight in front yeah. of the bar until you're ready to come. Yeah, right. so again, you're here, you're just gonna say, okay, chill, chill, chill. Push off towards the wall behind you, nice and easy, don't go all fucking crazy. And then your feet are out here in front of you, they stay out in front of you until you feel the pendulum and the momentum shift to the bottom. Okay. Yep. Now your feet are gonna stay out in front of you, nice and easy. Yep, yep. Oh, almost. Try again. Come down to the, bottom, the receiving position. Yep, now push off, keep your feet out in front of you. Right there, that's oh. it. That was it. Oh, okay. okay. That was it. Okay, almost got three. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, two and a half. It's all that, dude, it's all about that bottom position, that bottom being able to recoil position. it. I see. Because what happens again is, dude, if you just comb straight down, yeah. you're gonna have to restart from scratch. And this is really important to note for anybody who wants to get a bar muscle up. If you want to eventually find strict bar muscle ups where you're using a false grip and you're going up and over, that's fine. But the key here is the thing about with a kipping bar muscle up is that this vertical line of action is very difficult to get up and over this position. And so instead, by transferring the weight this way, you're going horizontally instead of vertically I so see. much. And that's a big kicker. I guarantee you for strong guys or, or ladies, whoever that are watching this, if they could do strict pull-ups and they could get down this kipping action, they'll be, they'll be fine getting a bar muscle up. Gotcha. Thank you guys so much. 
it's really great having Matt Frazier here. Teach us, <laughs> Jason, teach us how to get a bar muscle up. So there you have it. You don't have to go to jail to learn how to do a bar muscle up. You can practice this at home with the three easy steps of foot in the front, correct me if I'm wrong, foot in the front, right? And then you use the hip action backwards yeah. and then pop your hips to the bar and then get over the bar. I mean, that's, that's it's that simple. And then you gotta have some, you know, some, some strict pull-up strength. Did I just get my CrossFit level one? Uh, yeah, basically you're a, you're, a, you're a professional. I'm an instructor. All right, cool, thank you guys so much. And the next video, uh, Jason's gonna go over three of his favorite accessories to help you get muscle ups, develop the strength and the motion, uh, and the momentum and the timing to help you nail the muscle up. Thank you guys so much.